Hi guys, today's uh, talk is a wee bit controversial for some people, not for me. I see the whole thing very simply. Now, what I want to talk about today is integration. I hear all the time that people who move to Britain should assimilate into our culture and integrate and learn our language and start dressing like us and behaving like us. I say, why? And I say, I think that's nonsense. I've got three demands, three demands. I want my neighbours to obey the law, I want them to pay their taxes, and I want them to keep their music down so they don't disturb me. That's it. Those are my three demands. Whether you come from Kirkcaldy, Kirkcudbright, or Syria, or, uh, or, or, or Ulaanbaatar, it makes no difference to me. In fact, what I would like, quite the reverse of everybody coming to this country and becoming homogenised and Britannified, I would love to see, like, Babylon 5, do you remember you'd walk through the foyer of the spaceship in Babylon 5 and all these people from all these different, in that case it was different uh, planets, but it was different cultures, different languages, different costumes, wonderful. I live in a little village, you see, so that's my dream, is to, my little village, it will be like a cosmopolitan city and it'll be hubbling and bubbling with people from all over the world and I'd have the opportunity to learn about different languages, different cuisines, different cultures, all that sort of stuff. Now, we talk about, we say that people have to learn English when they come to Britain. And you think, well, that sounds okay. But I say, well, if people want to learn English, then we should, you know, we should make that available for them. I live in Scotland, right? And people are saying, well, people should learn the language of the country they're coming to. Do you speak Gaelic, pal? Do you? Really? Unless you come from the northwest of Scotland, you don't speak the language of this country. It's Gaelic. By the way, neither do I. By the way, I don't speak Gaelic either. So what right have we got? to get all hoity-toity with Syrian refugees coming here and we say, oh, you don't even speak the language of this country. None of us speak the language of this country here in Fife, right? We all speak English. Also, let's say you get posted abroad, right? You get posted abroad to Saudi or maybe you go to United Arab Emirates, right? Or Qatar, somewhere like that for a year or two years to work out there. A wee dream posting. You're going to make lots of money, maybe in engineering or something like that. You're not going to learn Gulf Arabic. You're not going to put on a jalabeer, one of these uh, floor-length kind of Arab cloak things that, 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 that uh, Gulf Arabs wear. You're not going to change your way of life and start going to mosque every Friday. No, you're not. No. You, you're going to do what Brits always do. You're going to be part of the local British community in Enclave, and you're going to be in a little British ghetto speaking English with all your English co-workers for a year, two years, as long as it takes, and then you come back to this country. Even, even the people that move out to Spain, Brits that move out to Spain permanently retire out there, don't speak a word of Spanish. And yet, we've got the goal to say people speak, speak English if they move to Britain. You pay your taxes, you obey the law, that's all I care about. So are we worried about um, a British way of life, a Scottish way of life? A Scottish way of life if we have too many people coming here? <clears throat> Excuse me. What is a Scottish way of life? A wee bit of fish and chips, maybe. A bit of ice cream sometimes when out the grandkids, Right? Well, they were, in, they were introduced by Italian immigrants after the Second World War, fish and chip shops and, and ice cream shops, right? Oh, well, I like a curry. Well, listen, I don't need to tell you where the curry comes from, right? That's all your Pakistani, your Bangladeshi, your Indian immigrants. That's where that's come from. Well, uh, what about our religion? We can't have all these Muslims running about. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm Church of Scotland, I'm Church of England. Oh, you're Church of England. Well, that's a Middle Eastern religion, Christianity. Where do you think Jesus came from, Right? He didn't come from Newcastle, he didn't come from Kirkcaldy, he didn't come from Milton Keynes, right? He came from Nazareth, Bethlehem, he came from Palestine, pal. You've got a Middle Eastern religion, your Christianity. So don't worry about Islam, another Middle Eastern religion. One's the same as another. So when we boil it down, right, and try to look at the logic of it, all the stuff that people are scared about doesn't exist. When, when, we, when we went to, we didn't worry about um, corrupting ways of life, when we invaded the 52 countries of the Commonwealth, did we? No, no, no. We went there and we imposed Britain, Britishness on them. And for a while we gave them British passports and then we changed our mind and then that's it. They're just leaving the fend for themselves. So, what have I got here? <clears throat> Your patron saints. What about our patron saints? What about St. Andrew? What about St. George, if you're English? Well, I'm sorry to uh, break this to you, pal. But both St. George and St. Andrew were Middle Eastern. St. George, of course, was a Syrian, never set foot in Britain. And St. Andrew was a Palestinian. Of course he was. He was running around with Jesus in the Bible, wasn't he? Right? 
He wasn't getting the number 42 bust out of Morrison's. So, your patron saints, they're Middle Eastern. This is what I'm talking about. Even English itself, the language, the roots of English, you've got Latin, you've got German, you've got French, you've got Dutch, you've got a bit of Arabic, you've got a bit of everything. That's what makes Britain such a, 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 a great place. If, if, if you let it, it's a, it's a mongrel roots. There's no such thing as racial purity in Britain. Neither a culture, nor a cuisine, nor a religion, nor a patron saints, nor anything is quintessentially Scottish or English or British, right? We're a mongrel race, and we should be proud of that. Multicultural. Okay, guys, uh, peace out.